Well, Christmas is a happy, magical time of the year, isn't it? But I have some questions I'd like to ask you. Have you ever found love during the holiday? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone here ever taken in a stranger into their home for the holiday? A stranger? A stranger, a total stranger. Or maybe you've had your faith renewed in mankind because of the generosity and the kindness that people exude at Christmas. Amen. Any of you ever had that feeling? Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What I've just described to you is the miracle of Christmas as it is portrayed on television. Madam Toastmaster, members, and most welcome guests. I want to tell you tonight about my obsession in watching Christmas programs. I love watching the Christmas programs this time of year. So lately, my TV sits mostly on Lifetime and Hallmark. <laughs> okay? And when I talk about Christmas movies, I'm not talking about the classics, you know, Miracle on 34th Street, you know, It's a Wonderful Life, and Home Alone. I'm not talking about those movies. I'm talking about those movies that have that un unbashed romance, rom oh God, romanticism. Yes, I love to watch those movies. Now, I know some of you will say the movies are predictable, they're sappy, <laughs> you know, and they're not really realistic either. But I enjoy watching them. You know why? Because I get pulled into those characters. And I sit there and I see a family that's dysfunctional or someone lonely that by the end of the holiday, they have happiness. <laughs> You know, sometimes you look at them and what you see is the characters on a crash course vehicle headed towards love. And I'm telling you, I enjoy every moment of that impending collision. Because <laughs> I guarantee you, by the end of that movie, I already know from the beginning how it's going to end, but I enjoy watching it. I want to explain to you just how serious this obsession is. <laughs> I know for a fact, a fact that between Christmas, between Thanksgiving and Christmas, there's a new movie premiering, at least one movie per week on both channels. They usually come on about 8 o'clock on Saturday night. So here I am on Saturday night, all nestled in my house and warm and watching these shows. One I'll take and one I'll watch. <laughs> I'm so pitiful that <laughs> once, once one of the shows go off, I may watch it the second time the next hour. <laughs> it gets worse. It really does. <laughs> Some of these movies I've seen as m many times as five or six times. I'll start watching that movie and then need to get up, go to the kitchen, or do some other things, I'll put it on pause. Because after all, I've only seen it five times, but I can't afford to miss any part of it. <laughs> Heaven helps if I need to leave the house, because I'll record the end of the program. Why? The ending is not going to change, is it? <laughs> it's going to be the same movie. But I just cannot bear to not be there at that happy ending. You know, I don't apologize for it. I enjoy it. You know why? Because life is so complicated. We have the stress of jobs, family, you know, different stresses of buying presents at Christmas, you know, all of that stuff. So the ability to be able to sit back and watch a show, yes, it's predictable, but that's OK. I get a lot of comfort in doing that. I want to tell you tonight about three movies that I enjoy watching during this season. I don't know if you've ever seen this movie. It's called The Ultimate Gift. You ever saw that? You must look at that. 
And basically, without telling you the plot of the story, what the story is about, it's about a young man who has to go through a series of life lessons in order to get the ultimate gift. And the question that the story asks is, what is the relationship between wealth and relationships? And there's, it's not a traditional Christmas show, but yet there's a Christmas scene with a little girl in it that's very touching. And by the end of the story, he has the answer to that question. And that answer is, it's good to have purpose in life, it's good to have the love of family, it's good to have the love of friends. This picture has all the range of emotion that you can imagine. It has life, it has death, but at the end, he finds his purpose. I enjoyed that movie, have to watch that. <laughs> Another one is called Mrs. Merkel, and the kids will mess up and call her Miss Miracle, Mrs. Miracle. This is a charming woman who warms the heart of a widower and his twin sons. She, a, she ends up being their nanny, their cook, and yes, she's also the matchmaker. <laughs> See, I love that. <laughs> so what happens is this father renews his love, his heart is healed, and he's able to love again, and he's able to share with his children. Again, the whole purpose of Christmas, find your purpose, <clears throat> enjoy the love of family, Enjoy the love of friends. And the last movie I'd like to share with you is called Borrowed Heart. And it's another excellent movie that demonstrates that it's important for the holidays to have purpose, love, and family. Thank you. Mm -hmm.